good morning good morning welcome back to bricks and blooms my name is ebony i'm in southeastern pa zone 7a and i'm just doing a quick update on my deck veggie garden i have a bunch of herbs and veggies and pots and um mostly uh planters and pots i have a bunch of things here so just to show you i have sage doing beautifully this does better in part shade um i have some dill here um here's some chamomile here's some purslane here's thai basil up here we have dinosaur kale we have prism kale, we have purple cabbage. Um, there's a bunch of other like just regular plants mixed in. It's always good to mix in some flowers with your veggies. Here we have lemony lace elderberry in a pot that has nothing to do with veggies, but just showing you. I have some, oh, looks like something has been eating my my uh, Vietnamese basil. Um, then I have another kind of basil here. I think I have the name for it. It might have faded in the rain. Red Reuben basil. Very little transplant. And something is eating at it. Um, here we have creeping thyme chicory more purslane lemon balm here's some lamb's ear and iris then here we have swiss chard over here we have more purslane in pots but I just um, harvested some uh it was a really big scallion um i forgot the name of the scallion but i cut off um the root and put it back in the soil and it's already growing that was a few maybe a week ago maybe maybe not even a whole week and um i forgot what i planted here i'm gonna have to do an id identification but I forgot what I planted here. I cut it down because it wasn't looking too hot. I know that. Then we have some broadleaf sorrel under here. And something has been eating at it. Then I have some Italian parsley all the way under there. But you won't be able to see that from here. And um, what else do I have? German time. Oregano. Rosemary. Fever few. That's about it right here. Um, I have some Greek oregano in the front with some other um, herbs in the front of the house, but I'm not gonna show you that. Waiting for my roses to bloom. These are Francis Mylan roses. And look at these beautiful connas that I potted yesterday. So I can't wait for those to bloom. Let's walk around here really quick. I can give you a quick update on my perennial hibiscus they have started to bloom so this is candy crush but it has it has mutated to a more white color as opposed to the pink color that they were so i think that has something to do with the soil the acid in the soil um i think almost every plant that i put in this part of the flower bed the the color changes so it has something to do with the soil right here 
and I might have to uh, treat the soil with something. It happened to my daffodils. It happened to so many things. So it happened to my day, my daylilies. They went from orange to yellow, yellow to orange. I can't remember, but that's it. And here we have cranberry crush. Beautiful. These are uh, strawberry and vanilla hydrangeas. Looking lovely. More perennial hibiscus. These are very full. These are always the first to bloom. And then we have a bed that hasn't started blooming yet, but full of buds. Full, 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 full of buds. So that is just an overview. I want to take a quick picture because I like the way this looks right here from this angle. I love just standing here and looking onto my deck. It looks so inviting. Thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is Ebony. I'm in Southeast Pennsylvania Zone 7A. Please like, share, and subscribe. If there's anything you think I should try and put on my deck in a pot, I really don't have too much space in the ground. As you can see, this area is completely full. My plan is to remove a bunch of things here and just have a mass planting of horsetail rush along this white wall here. Um, but that's going to take some time. I'm waiting for it to come in naturally as opposed and also transplanting. Um, I also do want to leave this black lace elderberry here. So that might be um, one of two only shrubs that will remain in this area. Um, eventually the lemony lace elderberry will be on the other side when I remove uh, this hydrangea. But I have so much here and I'm going to have to thin this out because to me it looks a little bit too... Uh, I'm just never happy with this area. So if you have any area, any ideas for this area, what I can do to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It just has so much. Um, let me just give you a quick overview. Here we have um, lemon sedum, salvia, Oh wow, these are not doing too hot. We have some ostrich ferns. This is the parsley that I was talking about under here. Look, we have some, uh, what is this called? Why does my mind always escape me when I do these videos? Um, from England, God. You make fertilizer from it. I can't think of it, but the leaves are beautiful. These are the best ones I've, I've had so far since I've planted them can't think of it i'll put it in the comment section we have a bunch of irises that look beautiful in this spring and i have some uh evergreens over there red twig um uh, dogwood i have some uh oof, some echinacea and some kind is over there so um then i also have some cilantro coriander and some uh, black eyed Susans over here in the corner with some hosta and it's just too much so um, give me an idea I'm trying to keep what looks great and kind of remove what looks not great I mean usually nature kind of tells you you know but um, I love the hedge of irises in the spring they look so beautiful and the purple is so deep and um, just rich and I just, I would hate to remove it and put it somewhere else and it doesn't do as well. So that is my uh, dilemma here. I also have peppermint in a pot in the corner, which I could definitely remove, but I feel like it keeps down on bugs and mosquitoes and things. So I also have Mexican heather in here. You can't even see it. It's just so much, you know, and my shadows in the way, but um I am trying to think of what this plant is. Oh my God, it's irritating me. And I love the, the pattern that the leaves give. It's really nice. It's like a leopard print almost. Anyway, I will um, see you guys later. And 
thank you guys for watching. God bless.